Hi, this is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, I want to tell you why I'm stopping using Craft Daily Notes and instead I'm using Things 3.0 to manage my to-dos. Let's get started. In a previous uh, YouTube video that I shared on my YouTube channel, uh, I'll share the link to this video in the, in the uh, episode uh, description. Um, I was explaining what the process I was uh, using in order to plan for the upcoming week. Um, I was using a template that I'll show you right now in uh, my Craftful environment. Uh, that template contained a lot of uh, to-dos uh, that would uh, come uh, each week, and then I would complete as the week um, uh, move ahead. Um, this process is manual, so I had to um, create this document each week on each Sunday and then I, I had to uh, come back uh, from time to time to check off the list all the tasks has been completed. Um, and I was happy about this process because uh, this way I would use only one app in order to uh, create my content and also do the task management within the same uh, application. But there is some issue with this process and this is why I'm stopping uh, using Craft for that. Let me explain. There was three problems with uh, the use of Craft for uh, tasks management. The first thing is that uh, there is no recurring uh, task uh, option within Craft. Craft. So the problem is that I have to copy and paste each week uh, the same set of tasks uh, if I have to do them uh, repeatedly and this is a manual process. Uh, in a modern task management application, this thing is usually uh, taken care of because you can set a task to be recurring. The other issue with Craft, uh, issue number two, is that if you cannot set a, a date, a specific date to uh, the execution of a task, so there is no notification when uh, there is the, the task has to be done on a specific day. You have to manually go uh, each day to see what uh, what's, uh, I have to do. Uh, so that's the second problem. And the other problem is um, each time I was writing a task with a, uh, a link to a, a deep link to a document, for that specific document, uh, it would kind of um, uh, pollute uh, or um, add noise to the backlink section at, at the bottom of the document. So let me explain what I'm referring to. So let's say I look at the uh, the craft Bible there, and I go at the end of the doc uh, the document, I see the backlink section. Those documents are all referring to the Craft Bible. Each week, where I added a task uh, referring to the Craft Bible with a deep link, um, there would be an entry in this uh, section there. So over time, there's a lot of uh, backlinks that piles up in this uh, section, and I kind of didn't like this uh, at all. So um, that's the other reason why I'm stopping using um, uh, Craft for. Uh, tasks management uh, with daily notes. That being said, I must say that I'm still using tasks uh, within uh, Craft, but I use them in a template like in the um, newsletter, monthly newsletter that I'm uh, creating and publishing. Uh, and the process of preparing this newsletter uh, is using a lot of tasks within uh, the template, the document itself, as you can see there on my screen. So. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm not using tasks anymore. Uh, I'm just saying that I'm not using tasks in a way that I'm planning for uh, the week ahead or by uh, setting uh, expectation to when the task should be completed because we cannot just set that within Craft. So I'm using a lot of tasks within my documents but not for planning uh, in the future. So why uh, this sudden change um, with in regards to craft and tasks management? I recently came across a video uh, made by Matt Birchler uh, on his um, YouTube video uh, channel called uh, A Better Computer. Uh, in his video, he was showing how to set up Things 3.0, a popular task management for the Mac and iPad and iPhone. And he was explaining from scratch how do you set up the environment in order to take advantage of the best feature of things. So I, it reminded me that 
uh, a few years ago, I was using the exact same application, but eventually I stopped using things because Apple with reminders were coming up with a pretty serious uh, container. It was a pretty um, capable uh, task management application. Um, but when I saw this video from uh, Matt, uh, I kind of fall in, fell in love again with Things 3.0 and I wanted to give a try again to see if things um, could help me better manage the tasks that I'm uh, uh, executing uh, on a weekly basis. And I'm glad I did it because I really fell in love again with things. So I'll show you how I'm using things in order to manage the tasks now instead of craft daily notes. So let me show you uh, quickly my setup uh, using uh, things 3.0 to manage my to do's. Uh, so I'll switch to things. I'll hide this application. So uh, Things uh, is a pretty simple, well-designed, clean application that is multi-platform in the Apple ecosystem, which means that it is running on macOS, on iPadOS, and also on the iPhone with uh, iOS. Um, it's a very uh, basic application, but it's not a simplistic uh, application. So it's pretty complete for my needs. And it reminds me somehow uh, about craft in the design of the application. Um, for syncing of the task, uh, I'm using the Things Cloud. It's not based on iCloud syncing, it's based on the, their proprietary uh, syncing mechanism. Um, so what you see there is the main window of things. So as you can see, there's a bunch of tasks that has been uh, created and uh, those are in the anytime section, which means there is no specific date uh, entered for those tasks. And also there is a bunch of tags there that I created as I was entering my uh, to-dos. So if I click on any of those, uh, like on this uh, tag there, only the corresponding uh, to-dos will show up in the list. So it's pretty easy to filter out which kind of task I want to, to look at. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, there is also on the left, uh, what things call um, areas where it's a way to divide all the tasks within specific domains. And so I have created a few. Uh, there's one it's called uh, research and learn. The other one is more uh, related to uh, the actual writing uh, of content. There's a lot of things related to crafting um, section for YouTube videos and also some housekeeping tasks that I'm doing uh, from time to time. Um, and also there is um, something there which uh, is called a project uh, that can contain many to-dos within the project. So it's pretty uh, easy to, uh, to understand and manage. And also what is replacing the templates I was using in Craft Daily Notes are, not, uh, are now defined in a project that I will du duplicate uh, on a weekly basis in order to be able to uh, plan for the upcoming week. Um, entering a task is pretty simple. So I uh, can type for the task uh, a title. I can enter notes in this field. And also I can paste a craft document deep link in this section. So I can switch easily uh, from uh, things to craft as needed. Uh, also, there is a way to select when I want to do uh, this, where I'm planning to do this task. Also, this is where I'll be assigning a few uh, tags. And also, I can create subtask within this the main task there, like it's called a checklist. And I can also flag this uh, if I need that to set a deadline. Um, so it's pretty basic um, task management. And as I'm using the application, I am checking off uh, uh, to-dos from uh, the list. There is a logbook here where I, I can see uh, the history of all the to-dos that I completed. And it's pretty uh, handy to look uh, back in time when I did a few uh, things, when I did work on this or when I did work on that. So it's pretty uh, convenient to be able to have a, a look uh, like this. So it's pretty uh, easy to work with. Uh, again, if I want to switch to craft by hitting this uh, deep link, boom, it's pretty easy to uh, go back to uh, uh, craft uh, to a specific document. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup, very effective use of a to-do uh, application. In this case, things 3.0. 
I'm pretty happy with my decision to switch away from Craft to uh, address the uh, to-do management of my workflow. As you saw in uh, in uh, my demo, I think Things is doing a great job at at this uh, at this. Um, uh, I think Craft should keep uh, doing what it is doing right now. I mean, uh, it's pretty easy to add a, a list of to dos within a document. Um, I can, you can also use the uh, daily notes to uh, maybe uh, do something related to um, uh, task management. Uh, but I think, I, I know that there's a lot of people, if I go there on the circle uh, community, uh, there's a, uh, someone who asks if uh, Craft can be a, a task manager. Um, my opinion is that it shouldn't be a task manager. Uh, Craft is good at creating documents, at creating a list of tasks maybe, but uh, going as far as doing real task management, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. It would uh, make uh, Craft lose uh, some focus from its core mission of creating documents, uh, beautiful documents. So that's my opinion. You may agree or disagree. I'm okay with that. Um, but I hope that uh, Craft will keep focusing on the uh, content uh, creation uh, and uh, management. So that's my opinion. So that's it for this video. Uh, now you know why I switch away from Craft Daily Note to do uh, my task uh, management uh, with Things 3.0. Um, I hope you like uh, you like the video. If you, if you did like it, just hit like below. Or if you have comments, just uh, don't be shy to post your own view on this subject and uh, just comment as needed. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, now, is, now it's time to do so. So again, thank you very much guys for being there and watching my work. Uh, I hope that you like it a lot um, and see you guys later for another one. Bye.